Welcome to everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My guest today is Blossom Goodchild. Blossom and I have had a working relationship for about seven years. We first met about 10 years ago when I did Enlighten Me around 2010. So that being the case, what I'd like to do is introduce you to her. Blossom is first and foremost a wife, mother, grandmother, actress, channel for White Cloud, a compassionate, loving Native American energy. Also channel for the overseers of the overseers, who we commonly know as the Federation of Light. Welcome, Blossom. Thank you very much, Joe, and what a lovely introduction indeed. Mm. Thank you, and welcome to everybody here. Thanks so much for inviting me. I'm very excited. Right, so Blossom, I talked briefly about, in your, in your bio, that you are an actress, and I never got the full picture about that, so I just wanted to ask you about that, if you don't mind. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Um, my parents were both in the theatre. Mm -hmm. They met in the theatre, and um, from the age of two, I was on the stage. It was, it's in my blood. It's my absolute passion. Uh, to be on stage, not necessarily on stage, actually. It's my passion just to even rehearse at home. And uh, I just, in fact, I prefer that sometimes to being on stage <laughs> because if I go wrong, nobody's there to uh, to sort of, it's a very vulnerable thing. But it's, yeah, uh, and so I went to drama school and um, I studied musical theatre. And uh, for a long time in England, I did uh, repertory theatre um, and what have you. And then for a long time, when my son was born, I just, I, it stopped. And um, I played the guitar and sing. So I used to do that in restaurants just to earn some money. And then when I came out to Australia, uh, the whole thing just took off. Because I used to wonder why... Uh, because it was my passion and my life, I used to wonder why it had stopped for quite a long while. And I thought, well, maybe it's because the whole white cloud thing and all that, um, I was supposed to do that instead. And um, and then, when I, as I said, when I got to Australia, I joined a local company. And, um, and from there, everything just took off. And then it's come about that an excellent professional company here where I live uh, began four years ago. And so I'm so blessed to work with these most talented people from Melbourne, Sydney. They come up and, and, and travel up uh, and stay and do, do it up here on my doorstep. And I've met the most fantastic younger kids, you know. I remember when I was young in the theatre and there's always be the token, <laughs> token older person, the actress and I am now, that token <laughs> older person. Um, but yeah, I I just love it. It's it truly. I always say that acting is my passion, and the white cloud stuff sort of is my mission. And and truly, but when I haven't been on stage, I say if I could just do one show a year, then that suits me. That feeds my soul tremendously, and the, that's my deal with them upstairs. I say, you give me one show a year, and I'll do this work <laughs> the rest of the time, you know. I, I just, I just, there's some, it's in my blood. And there's quite a lot, I've got stepbrothers, half-brothers, there's quite a lot of my family who uh, also, um, you know, went into the theatre. It's it's just one of those things. So it's, it just makes, it's my home. I can't explain it. It just makes me feel that I am who I am when I'm on stage, you know, that that's what I meant to do. I just, I just love it. First of all, it sounds fun, especially the way you describe it. <laughs> Secondly, it's a creative endeavor and having something like that to balance life out. Um, I found out after the fact that it's really important. I think mainly because in my work life, professional life, before I started producing, I um, had some challenge, you know, stressful, stressful client engagements that came up and there wasn't any fun. There wasn't a creative outlet and it, uh, I paid the price for it. I didn't realize that I, that I was missing that balance. I was just so yeah. focused on the work mm -hmm. and found ways to manage that. But your, your creative pursuit is just something that to, to a large degree, I feel adds to your persona 
and essentially just who you are as a being and the way we, we receive you. Mm. So I okay, really it's interesting that. because I, uh, qu quite a good few years ago now, um, I had to play a part where I started off as a mother at 40 or something. And I was, um, what was I, about 50 at the time. But I had to go through to uh, when I was sort of in late 80s, I had to change within that play and be on my deathbed. And um, there's a picture that some, and when I was waiting in the wings on this bed, that, in the hospital bed that got wheeled on stage, Age and I'd get all ready, you know, out in the wings, and then I'd get wheeled on. I because I was supposed to be much older. I used to try and say to White Cloud, you know, can you come in a bit, <laughs> and uh, just to give that sort of age thing. And I have a picture um, somewhere of um, that was taken up in the bio box, in the lighting box, right at the back of uh, me sitting, of lying in this bed, and out of my head is coming this white sort of stream of light type of thing you know and people say i've done a couple of uh, one woman one woman plays which is quite a task quite a challenge but uh i'm really happy that i've achieved them and and people say that you know that they just can those who know me with white cloud say they can just feel that energy of white cloud giving out love uh, to, to the audience before whenever I do a warm-up before I do a show I always just stand on the stage and just put my arms out and offer love all around and everything and just for everybody that comes to see the show you know may they sort of feel the love so I feel White Cloud is very much with me you know in, in those times. That's a beautiful practice to have uh, something that I've heard a number of teachers if you will um, talk about um, you know, basically imagining love welling up within you and then spreading it throughout the world. The Federation has spoken of that, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I'm not going to get carried away with that, but that was just something that I heard from you. The other thing was that you mentioned, and maybe this was just in passing, that you asked them to give you one play a year or something like that. Do do you have the sense that they help orchestrate something like that coming around? I don't know. It's very interesting. The last one I did last year was um, a musical called Rock of Ages. And uh, when I got the the cast casting through, it was like, oh, no, th there's nothing for me in this, you know, and I was so gutted. I was so disappointed. And, um, and then it... It turned out that uh, the director said to me, look, I don't see why you can't audition for this particular part, Blossom, because there isn't a, uh, an actual age um, status on it. And it was a part of a, um, a madam, really, a, <laughs> a, a woman in a, who had a strip club. And, um, you know, and, and, and I, I thought, oh, and it was rock, you know, I've never sung rock in my life. It's musical theater. And, um, and, uh, and so I just, I thought, right, I'm just going to go for it. And lo and behold, I, I got the part and with the disguise of a rather long wig <laughs> and uh, some, some very high heels and, and goodness knows what, I, I was, I, amaz I was amazed that I, that I landed the part because I really thought that this year, you know, and I'd had a go. I'd been like, hey, you said, <laughs> I said one a year and it's not going to happen. And it did happen. I mean, obviously this year is going, is a very different matter uh, for all people in the, in the industry. You know, there's, I have a brother in England who, um, you know, he says, I don't know what I'm going to do now because that's, you know, he's an actor and that's what he, he does. So, it, you know, it's, it's very difficult for people in the theatre. I mean, for people everywhere, it's so difficult at this time. So, so yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll see what happens this year. But um, I, I also, I've, I've been, I manifested, I have a piano that my, was my grandmother's and it's 150 years old. It's a bit uh, like a boudoir grand and it came over from England and, um, I, it's so out of tune now that it can't be, <laughs> it cannot be played. And they said it'd be about $20,000 to even begin because it's so old. And I got gifted, literally gifted a digital piano um, that was storm damaged. But when my son reset it, it's absolutely fine. And so I have this wonderful uh, piano now to play on and 
I'm also under, it, I'm trying at the moment because I've, there's a, a white cloud meditation I did and I'm trying to write the music to go underneath it so that I can um, sort of express myself in that way as well. I write the odd little song and everything, but I just love to sit at the piano and have a little sing song to myself. So, you know, it, uh, I, I'm so blessed. So that for me that's come along this year helps me my creative side you know I have a, have a good old sing song now and then there's nothing like it <laughs> I've heard your uh, audios that you've done um, there was one the bridge I think there were a few yeah. uh, from the CD actually yeah and that was really nicely produced was that something you did by yourself yeah, well, we did. I had a friend called um, called Rick Halstead, who also helped me edit the books. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a musician and uh, a saxophonist, an excellent saxophonist. And so we went into a studio to do that. And he uh, played the music underneath. And I mm -hmm. read out, you know, what I we decided to write for, you know, to say for each track. So we did it in a in a studio. But yes, yeah, sort of my, I think the Federation dropped the idea into me to do that. And, um, you know, so blessed that uh, Rick, who helped me with the books, was a musician. You know, it, it's like you, Joe. <laughs> you sort of have all these perfect things that fit in for me that help me. So, you know, it, 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 they seem to work very well with sending me people like that. Well, it's interesting because when I heard it, I thought, well, this is definitely studio produced and I needed to ask you. And I've been meaning to ask you that since the day I got that CD. <laughs> anyway, no, yeah, no. yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I mentioned this to you ever before, but I wrote a couple of short films. I mean, really short films. Mm -hmm. Very little dialogue, but, but I had the bottom line is I think that I wanted to mention that because it addresses what you talked about earlier, and that's the sure, the pure enjoyment that you get from doing a creative pursuit. Yeah. And I had never written films before. Now, I studied about filmmaking for several years and put the pieces together, but never put uh, wrote a film and, and, and did that. And the inspiration for it just came to me in a flash. And then I'm telling this story in my mind, and I'm like, wait a second, I've got to start writing this down, ultimately. I did and, and hired some actors on both occasions and uh, yeah, me too. So. Some people say I just don't have a passion. I just don't have one, you know, and I feel that must be um, difficult because I, so many people do. And, and when, you, you know, be it painting or whatever it might be. And for me, it me, a passion means when you get into something and time just disappears you know there is no time you just your your heart and soul is in it you're you're enjoying yourself so much um it's such a you know it's such a joy um and so i feel very blessed that i had that for me from a very very young age you know it and so it must be very difficult for people who who feel they haven't got one white cloud says if you haven't got a passion try smiling as your passion, <laughs> you know, and I think, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Is there anything that has been going on for you that you would like to just share about? I suppose like many, many people at this time that um, there's been a lot going on for me in my in myself. I've been up and down like a yo-yo. I've had emotions uh, you know that have come up there's been anger there's that I've been triggered with things sort of a bit of a my best friend says you know I've never known you to be so rebellious Blossom <laughs> and and that is the thing inside of me I, uh, for me and this is my journey I and I totally get that everybody is entitled to their own journey and they walk their own journey but for me you know this what we're told by the media my whole being says lie 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 um and th there is nothing that could tell me otherwise um because my because it is so ingrained in me so i've never known myself to get so triggered so quickly by say somebody having a go at me because i forgot to stay 1.5 meters apart or or whatever i instead of going oh sorry i i find a different side of me and I and there's not always compassion there I feel like 
<laughs> telling them where to go, you know, and I'm like, what's the matter with you, Blossom? But it's because I, you know, I feel so strongly one way and clearly they feel so strongly another. And, and I found it quite freaky, I suppose, to recognize the divide between people. I have people writing to say, you know, that they're losing their family and friends over this. And I, there's members of my family that we just don't discuss this because I just know that it wouldn't go well at this point. So I keep quiet. Um, and and it's, it's a very hard thing to accept, I think. But then I feel we just have to we just have to trust in ourselves and more and more as this has been going on for months and months and months i feel that we're all changing inside we're all becoming stronger in our knowing of who we are and you know i've had times when i haven't felt that way at all i felt really weak you know and i've sort of thought oh what if this all goes down the wrong path after all or whatever and then I just think but Blossom think what White Cloud and what the Federation have said all these years they've told us what is to come and I feel we are now in that so it's like you know I say to myself so do you trust that or not and I have to trust that otherwise I'd have to stop doing what I do and so I feel that this thing that we're all here now to in strength as one to send our light out and to be the light in the times to come this is all preparation for us this time on our own and things that we are hearing and things that we are up against I've heard, I've come across stuff where people send me a lot of links and I'll, I'll switch on some and some I'll go, oh, no, 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 not for me. Others, I think, oh, I don't know if I want to watch this, but I'm quite interested in the subject type of thing. And there's things I've come across where I literally, it really has made me go, oh, my God, is, is, is everything been a lie, really? And I think that to absorb things before others who are still asleep and to accept them as truth or not, I don't feel really matters. I feel it's to be made aware of possibilities. And so having absorbed that, accepted it and filtered it through, I feel that so when much more comes out to the people who are fast asleep and I feel so much is going to be revealed, that's what the Federation has are saying then we are in place uh, we who know beforehand have prepared and we're strong and we're then ready to be able to say well yeah actually i've i've heard about this or or, or that or and you know and and to be able to help them through because we've already walked down that road you mentioned somewhere along the way there blossom that uh you weren't sure you know you didn't know what if what if this doesn't happen the way it plays the way they are Mm -hmm. suggesting i had that very thought maybe just a few days ago and the funny thing is i never had that thought ever in the last 10 years ever Mm -hmm. since i started reading your material and Mm -hmm. definitely not since you know i started narrating with you Yeah. yeah but and then i thought to myself well what if it doesn't come to pass joe what value have you well i didn't even ask that for myself all i know is even if it didn't come to pass i feel it has given me so much comfort feelings of love compassion understanding all these higher emotional states that i've received and experienced because of that material yeah and granted i'm saying that but still holding a very strong feeling that it absolutely is going to come to pass Mm. in one way or another. And I'm not expecting it to happen to the letter as they have expressed over the years. I am expecting it to occur. And I'm not holding an expectation that I will hold their feet to the fire for it not playing out in that way, Mm. but instead 
knowing that I'm in a position now and have been for some time, thanks in large part to the material that you've been publishing all these years, Blossom. Mm -hmm. I've been in a position where I am not affected by the things in the world. And oftentimes things that are, you know, placed in my face too, for that matter, on occasion. Mm -hmm. In a sense, I could say I've become a better person Mm -hmm. because of it. Yeah. I mean, my, when I first started with White Cloud, you know, um, over 20 years ago, my mother uh, could not, could not comprehend <laughs> what was going on. And I showed her a video of me with White Cloud. And I said, so what do you think? And bearing in mind, I'm an actress, you know, as, as well, there is that for people. You know, some people have said, well, she's acting. Well, that, as White Cloud says, that's up for them, up to them to feel his energy or not. It does, you know, that's part of the, the thing. And I said to my mother, so do you think I'm making this up? And she said, no. She said, but I don't know what it is you are doing. She, she could not accept it. And for me, it's, you know, I never, never imagine myself in in you know people say you're psychic you should have seen this coming but I never I never imagined myself in in this situation doing what I do and and to be totally honest you know there are, I have beautiful letters all the time from people saying how much like you Joe and for me my life has changed that's what I was going to say about my mother she did say but whatever it is you have changed completely and because of and and that's what I know from my 20s I was some I was called a manic depressive once <laughs> and uh, through to now I know I am a completely completely I have a complete I can't say I'm a different person but I have a completely different view on things as you say Joe because of the wisdom that White Cloud and the Federation of Light have brought through. And, you know, so people will write and say, you know, I don't know what I do. I look without these words. I look forward to this every week. You're keeping me going. And I think, whoa, that's quite a responsibility. <laughs> you know, that, that is quite a responsibility, I find. I don't have to, but I, I, I just continue to do it because it feels right for me to do. But at the end of the day, and I am totally aware, and I've said this before, there isn't a little <laughs> light being that pops into my room and says, okay, Blossom, let's let's do this week's channeling. I mean, dear God, if they would, I would love that. because uh, it, But it's just me and my telepathy. And so I have no proof at all. And, you know, some people say you shouldn't say that because you'll put doubt into other people's minds. But the fact is, I have no proof at all of who I am uh, channeling. It could be a part of me. I don't think it is because they have much, use much bigger words than I do. But it's, it, I have to trust that, I just have to trust. And like you, Joe, because I think, what if this just doesn't come about? What, you know, what if? And just like you, I think, well, should that be the case? I feel that all that they bring through has made such a difference to me and clearly from what I know, such a difference to so many thousands of people. So, so what? If it doesn't come about, you know, I wish I could be that flippant about it. But, you know, it, it's in that sense, it's yeah. like it, it isn't necessarily about or oh, this, that and the other, this and the other. It's about who we have become because of their words, I feel, and taking that on board to discover ourselves. That's what they're trying to do. They're saying, don't, you know, people write and say, could you ask them this? Could you ask them that? And really... No, ask yourself this. Ask yourself that. You don't, you can't rely on them for everything that you need to know. We have to, which I think we all are, becoming stronger and stronger in our knowing of ourself. And, and that's what they say, and White Clyde, that they are here to do, to help us to understand love, which is who we are. And, you know, I, I've had many a time 
people very kindly say, oh, you're very brave, Blossom. And I've had many times where I felt like I can't do this anymore, just through different things that have happened. And I don't know if I can take the brunt of this anymore type of thing. Mm -hmm. But then I think, but this is what you do. And I think about how it has helped people and how it has helped me. And therefore, I, I have the strength to carry on. In, in, in 2011, they kept saying that there will be these massive pillars of light yes. that were to come before yes. the end of the year. Did they yes. show up? No. And so I spat the dummy and I was like, for three months, I was like, no, I can't, no, no, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> All our street cred, you know, if you're going to say that it's happening before the end of the year, then let it happen. Some people can say, oh, but maybe they meant metaphorically, maybe this, maybe the other. But I don't, to be honest, I was like, no, that's not the point. I asked them, do you mean that we will see it with our physical eyes, you know? And they were like, yes. And then after that time, there was something that somebody said on an interview and I just, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it would just triggered me to think, Bloss, don't be so stupid. Don't be so stubborn. Get back on board. You know, you don't understand the greater picture and, and there is no time and all this type of thing. So over all these years, I really, I've become so, uh, uh, what would be the thing? Like, I just don't question them so much anymore. I mean, I do question a lot, but with what they've got to say, say this, uh, you know, big announcement and the next lockdown that they're talking about, say that doesn't happen. Right. Then I think, well, where does that leave you, Blossom? You know, do you stop doing this for the rest of your life just because they said it would and it didn't? I, I don't know. I don't know because, you know, how 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 much you're going to take type of thing mm -hmm. but i trust these days i don't think oh you've just said there's going to be a huge announcement oh god have i got the courage to put that out i just think no that that's what you said okay here we go let's see where this rolls type of thing i've i've gained so much more courage um over the years as we all do when we keep working at something i guess i put this high vibe playlist together and it's a number of songs. And White Cloud's three recordings are part of that. <laughs> Blossom, I have listened to those recordings, and I'm not exaggerating, easily over a hundred times. Easily. And the funny thing is that every time I hear them, until recently, every time I hear them, I it's kind of like reinforces the message, reinforces the message, reinforces the message. And because when the very first time I heard them and the whole reason I pulled them out was because they were so impactful. And so that's kind of, kind of where I've been mm. for practically the whole summer. Yeah. Wow. And your yeah. material and White Cloud were instrumental in that. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, you know, I do have people and still sometimes on the comments, you know, people might say, oh, could they not change the record and, and all this type of thing. But I feel exactly the same as you, Joe, that it is just, it reinforces and, and we need that. And right now, if it's okay, there's a certain gentleman in my head <laughs> that was, is saying, can he pop in? So By is all that all right? I, know, I thought, yeah, means, I, knew, I knew he might. I knew By he might. Means. Welcome to each one uh, that has taken the time to spend with uh, Joe and Blossom and, of course, myself. I have said before that I could come through Blossom and say all you need to know is that there is only love. And then I could say goodbye and that would be it because that is all that I choose to say in one way because that is all that you need to know. Yet there are many ways within the self uh, to find the deeper part of that part of you. 
and therefore we reiterate and the Federation of Light reiterate and reiterate and reiterate remember who you are remember why you came and you came because of love because you are love and the more that that is as you say reinforced into your being you know it so many of you know this as a would i say as a practicality but actually feeling it within every part of you at every moment of your being, every breath you take, uh, with respect, there is a, a, a quite a path to walk down still. But what I would like to, be, and I will say, go back to that to say, because there are, there is so much upon your planet that uh, can uh, make you feel that love isn't present within you or within your surroundings or from what you hear at that time but love is everything and love is always present and i would like very much to reiterate as that is what we are speaking of that that which you are walking into this time upon your planet that you are transforming through the love that you know yourself to be. When you are in through a higher vibration, because darkness is no longer controlling, you will find the love within you to be something that you did not in your human form know could be so wonderful. I would imagine that each one of you hearing this word at some point, whether you say you do not know of love or, or, or you do, some, just by stroking an animal, know they receive that love. When one meets another and they fall immediately in love. There are so many ways that love can be felt upon your planet. And when you consider how wonderful that feels, feel, 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 feel. I say to you, my friends, in your days, in your days ahead, that feeling that makes you feel so good will be expanded beyond your thoughts of possibilities. And if you consider that and try to feel it, uh, just a little, then I hope that that will keep you going through these times that are to come because we make no bones about it that there, upside downness, topsy turvy, there is so much more to come out that will make one feel dizzy with disbelief, etc. But I ask you to hang on, my friends, hang on to where you are walking. One step at a time, one breath at a time. Know that you are walking into a feeling that you have no idea of the joy it is going to bring you. And your eyes will see things differently. Your ears will hear things differently. Your touch will sense things differently because you are in a higher vibration where the negativity cannot suck your energy from you. 
but who you are and who you meet and the trees and the flowers, every, the rain, the wind, everything is on your side. And I ask you to hang on to that knowledge. Many thanks, my friends. So there you go. I knew we'd pop in, Joe. He was, mm-hmm. as always, chomping at the bit. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the lovely thing is, is, you know, for the last year or so, he's, he's been able to just come in like that. And, and it's very different for me now because uh, as this new way where he can just be here <laughs> straight away, it's, uh, there's been a, a much greater blending between he and I in the way that when he comes through, it's, it's not such a concentrated thing for me. Um, So, you know, it's really lovely. And I think the higher the vibrations become, then the easier for everybody, you know, to to be in touch with through the veil and and to feel this beauty and and the higher vibrations is just going to become so much easier for us. You know, they say that although these are really, really tricky times, they're also really, really amazing times because the higher energy is coming down to assist us. And you're know, saying realms and realms and realms of souls are, are all with us, you know, helping us and are ready, uh, preparing us for, for what is to come. And we just have to know that. We just have to know that, you know. I think it's a thing of when one gets a bit lost within everything, I've just, as they say, just take those breaths and say, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am. I do that constantly and I have letters from people saying the same because it brings you back into your center and makes you... Before this interview, you know, I get a bit nervous. I don't know if people realize that, but I do get a little nervous. And I'm sort of, I've got like, oh, I've got 10 minutes to go. And I hold my crystals in my hand and I walk around the room and I'm going, I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am just to put me in my truth and and know that everything will, will be okay. And I know from many, many emails, so many people are using that as their number one tool. Mm -hmm. And I feel so honored that, that it's, it's working so well, you know, for so many people. I had the experience myself of saying it uh, on, on occasions where I've said it and it, it felt flat even though I know I've connected with it very deeply, as deeply as I could connect with Mm -hmm. anything. So that was one end of the spectrum. And then the other end was just like I say, connecting it with it so deeply that it's so immensely moving that I felt it throughout my entire body. I guess the bottom line is no matter how we do say it. Whether you say it, I think what you're saying was how you you say it, you know, do Mm -hmm. not feel bad, you know, because something, you know, may have triggered me and I will go, I am the light. I am the love, I am the truth, I am, you know, <laughs> which I'm sure is not their intention. But, right. but you know, it's for me, it is that uh, reassurance of what I, and, and, you know, so there are many ways in which I find myself saying it. And, and I think it's just reiterating who we are. And we have to remember, we are, at the end of the day, we are human beings walking through all of this, you know, and there are certainly at these times, there is so much that could bring us down and then I you know for me I live in Queensland and you know a a, a two-hour plane trip down into Victoria Melbourne and all that a whole different story altogether and you know I do get letters from people down there who are uh, you know quite rightly feeling so contained and so lost and just not knowing if they have a thread left to hang on to and I really for me you know when people think oh this is terrible I I, and and it for whatever reasons all these lockdowns are for I feel that when I'm in a good mood (laughs) and when I can have a laugh even if I make myself laugh if I'm on my own then I am giving that vibration out to people 
who are struggling. And I don't know if I've said this before, but, you know, for people who can't, can't go outside very much, when I walk along the beach, I'm doing it for those people, you know, because we are one. And so that everything we do is for each other, you know, and, and I think the more we can recognize that, then the stronger that ripple effect is to to go out to people in all sorts of situations that that this light that we are really I mean some people write and go I am so ready Blossom I can't you know this is great I'm really this is what I've been waiting for and all that and it is just wonderful to feel that energy of people that are tapping into their knowing and it's like let's get let's let's get the sort of light up there you know let off we go and we are ready we are already on our way there is no sort of doof that's going to go to go off to go on your marks get set go we're we're already going and and we and we are in it and i do you know like i i have repeated I do because the Federation say and white class says it's going to get so much worse and I don't want to be a downer on that and yet if that's what they keep saying then perhaps that is what is going to happen but it doesn't mean that we have to succumb to it because we are ready and we are prepared and all we need to do is know that light you know just be the light and shine it out that's what they're saying that's all you've got to do is it a lot to ask? Actually, no. You know, it isn't. As long as we hang on to that knowing within ourselves that this is why we are here. You've got a little bit of that white cloud in you. because <laughs> Sometimes I say things and they sound so intelligent. I think, oh, who was that that popped in just then? <laughs> and, and I mentioned white cloud. And what, what I really appreciate about white cloud is, uh, is A, the passion with which he speaks. It just goes so, I just feel it. And, you know, I feel it in my heart. And when he, when he does speak, he talks about the possibility, where we're going, what, who we are, what we are. Mm. Yeah. And he also balances that out with the reality behind what we're going to experience. Yeah. But yeah. reminds us what we have within us that will carry us through. Because there is never, ever has there been out of in the 21 years I've been working with White Cloud, there has never, ever been a negative word that has come out of his my mouth. There has never been a word or a feeling of fear. There has never been anything other than, as you say, the deepest love and compassion for humankind and you know that's i think why you know white cloud says often these days that just by him speaking um he is able to the the tone and the resonance and the vibration within his voice um assists people to heal assists people to lift their vibration um just tr through that and and I, I trust that and interestingly enough you know many years ago i would have felt really uncomfortable if he'd said that <laughs> because of my ego getting in the way thinking well really is that the case you know type of thing uh, but now i don't now i think yeah yeah i trust that i trust that you know I, I i've come to trust so much over all these years because i think with each and every one the more especially if you're working um if you're a channeler or you know you're a healer but if you're just somebody who enjoys making flowers look lovely you know we are all in touch with our higher self and and spirit and those who have passed on before us you know maybe a mother passed on to me they're always there always there and i i feel so so many people say Oh, I think it was just me making it up. It could, you know, it could be. and I say that sometimes about something. I say, oh, I don't know where that came from. I might have just made it up, you know. But I think we just have to, the reason we know we're not making it up is because of the feeling that we get that comes with it. And, and I do think, you know, we have to rely now 
on our feelings. And I think it's a time where <laughs> I, I, I get very confused as to what I feel, you know, because of information that might have come to me. And I think, well, it, it doesn't feel too bright, you know, this thing, but it feels like, oh, that could be true. And so many people, including myself now, say, I have heard or come across so much in these, this year that has been, that has come out through the woodwork by whoever, people who are making things up, whatever the source is, that so much has now happened that I don't know what I believe <laughs> about certain things and what I don't. And so I say to many people, well, let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see, because that's all we can do. And let's wait with joyful anticipation. Because we will be all right. Mm -hmm. Of course, we will all mm -hmm. be all right. Without question, I feel that. Okay. So if we were to wait with joyful anticipation, my opinion is that we would, it would be beneficial for us to have a way to get there, to that joyful anticipation. And White Cloud has spoken of this. The overseers have spoken of this. And that m means by which we can, we can do that is by keeping in mind where we're headed, where we're going. Yeah. Where we're not going to end up, but where we'll continue our journey, which is yeah. not going to be in this low vibration. No, that's right. That's we didn't come here for that. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we we truly didn't come here for that. And you know, should one have a a, a moment, which I don't so much anymore, but I have have had like, what if I'm barking up the wrong tree here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, what's the alternative? It's not a good alternative. But then I just think, you know, as I've said before, no, no, in me, in me, knows light and love. Mm -hmm. That there is this strength within me and within all of us yes. that know that we didn't come here to go down that slippery path. This stirring inside of us that's getting stronger and stronger and stronger and more people, thousands more. My sort of messages from the Federation and White Cloud, they've gone up ridiculously on, on subscribers, on as you would know, Joe, you know, on YouTube and mm -hmm. my newsletter and things because people are waking up. They are waking up throughout all of this and they want to know more about themselves really and so it's just that the strength in numbers is phenomenal and i think it's um, i did actually um, a white cloud meditation yesterday with just a few friends which i recorded and I'm hoping to put some music to it, <laughs> which is proving more difficult than I originally <laughs> thought. Um, but, but that's what it, it, it is. It's about uniting with everybody else's heart space, you know, and, and feeling. He's not, he said, don't visualize, feel, feel the love of yourself for yourself blending with everybody else that heartbeat as one knowing we've got this you know that's a thing i do somehow say a lot whatever i'm feeling i'm like we've got this we've got this it's it's done and dusted we just have to uh, keep walking to to sort of prove that if you like you know this is a dodgy bit this many people say which i think is rather lovely that this you know it's like being in labor and uh, you know any minute now <laughs> we might be going down the birth canal you know and it could be pretty tricky but you know when you when you're sort of born into this new world it, it will be worth everything that we have gone through we will be like thank goodness you know we hung on to that strength with inside of us that love that we know to be truth you know and i just think that that's all we can do just just when i get down i think oh blossom you're not you're not doing very well here you know and then i think look i'm just doing my best today and tomorrow i will do my best. And I think that's all we can do. Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> mm.
All right. We do have a question, and I was wondering if you might be open to taking one. Sure. Okay. And as I always say, if I can answer it, I will, and if I can't, I won't. So this question is from Stephanie. Stephanie says, how do you see the economy in the near future? <laughs> Stephanie, clearly you don't know my background very well. <laughs> because anything to do with finance, for me, I, I, it, I, I can't... You know, I've always make a joke saying if somebody mentions the word percentage, I, I faint because I don't, <laughs> I just cannot compute with uh, numbers, financial stuff. I, I'm like a two year old. I am useless. Um, it, I just can't compute it, sadly, because it, it makes me, doesn't bode well for me. Yet, I feel from things I have listened to so I can't say that there I can definitely say this is going on but in me as well I if this is a divine plan which it is then that financial situation for all of us has to be part of that divine plan. And White Cloud has said that, of course, the financial situation has to change. And there are many that are saying it's actually taking place now. A quantum financial system is actually being put in place now. Um, that it, it has, if we're walking into this beautiful new world, we cannot keep the economy as it is. We just can't, we can't live like this in a, in, a, in a much higher vibration. So although I can't assist greatly, I can say that if you trust this is a divine plan, then I, I reckon that we're walking into a time and a place and a world where everything will be fair. You know, and people won't have to struggle in this way because we won't be uh, under the control of the people that want all the money from us, you know. And, and I feel that we're going to have such a better life by being able to live our passion and not to have to worry about, well, how do I pay the mortgages? How do I pay this? How do I pay that? The divine plan surely will allow that to be divinely in place. I really love the way you put that. Because I think for the first time, you tied the financial system to part of the divine plan. Now, maybe others have said it, and if they have, I just didn't hear it. But I really like the way it fits into and folds into the plan as you describe mm -hmm. it. Mm. I think I think that with, with with everything really they you know the federation say this is a divine plan and I whatever you know it is it, I feel it has been assisted by the highest beings off world you know what I say I really because one would have to have huge intelligence to make all this change etc that I think that with anything if if you trust and know in your heart that this is a divine plan then how could anything go wrong really you know how how can things be a mess and all that when when this divine plan is now playing itself out blossom i have uh, joan who would like to make a comment so joan robinson hi nice to meet you i've been with you since 2008 when I first got the information that they were coming, my heart skipped a beat and I was on and, and working with you, okay? Thank you, thank you. I want you to know that I'm a, a Yoruba priest um, and in our um, system, we, we can communicate with the um, Orisha, which are the forces of the earth. And I wanted you to know that you know, I doubted myself too. I was like, am I really hearing what's going to happen? Or, you know, what is this? Because I'm also a medium. Mm -hmm. And I asked them, I divinated and I asked them. And they said, yes, that what you're doing and you're saying is correct and will happen. Mm. It's on and popping. And ever since then, I've been, I've been spreading the word 
I, there's uh, a couple of your I have people that I send your your email your uh, emails to so that they can keep up with what's going on and calm them down. But I just wanted you to know that all systems go. Oh, we're good. Oh, thank you, thank mm. you so much. Oh, I'm nearly crying here <laughs> <laughs> to know that the you know the the letters I receive from everybody and the support that I uh, receive from everybody. You know, I do I really do try to answer every email, which is a lot, but I do because I. I am so grateful to everybody for for supporting me in this way and and when you know when when I hear things that you know of how the messages have helped and all this it really does you know it just warms my heart so much because I one doesn't know I put them out there you know and I and I hope that the message does its thing type of thing so I'm just so grateful to everybody that trusts in what I bring through and you know I do feel we're just this one massive family of light you know and and as long as for those people who are so alone at this time I really I really hope they can feel that we are a, a family you know and we all help each other out in in so many ways and that you know everything really 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 is going to be absolutely absolutely fine <laughs> I'm really falling into that place now. You know, for a while I was like, oh, God, I've had enough of this <laughs> and all that. But at the moment, yeah. when I believe everything's going to, you know, may set off at any given moment with a bam, so the Federation have, have said, we're getting, as I said, we're getting stronger and stronger in the knowing that we're, we're on target. We really are on target and it's very very exciting when you when you think about it like that it's very exciting there's a question here from maureen maureen says uh that she and others across the world and beyond do speak light language mm -hmm. do you or white cloud wish to share how light language will serve us in the coming days and also do you speak light language <laughs> Okay. Um, thank you for that question. <clears throat> I don't know how it will serve us in coming days. Um, yet, for me, light language comes from a higher frequency. <clears throat> Must do. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yes, I do speak light language. Rarely. I also, uh, over the last years, I have I, when I say allowed white cloud, I mean that in the sense of because one has to trust when white cloud speaks in his Native American, ancient Native American language, which he has done at times. <laughs> to be honest, you know, I'm thinking, you know, like when you're a kid and you you think, oh, I'm going to pretend I can speak another language, <laughs> you know, and so you're about six years old and you're going, oh, well, you and all that kind of thing. When, uh, when White Cloud speaks in his Native American language, I have no idea uh, uh, what it means or whatever. I just let the words come out and he, and I'm, he said, you can't put it word for word as to what he's saying. It's more to do with a general feeling of what he is talking about type of thing so um and so i trust that but i am aware also that many people say when they hear him do that that they cry or it touches their heart or on some other level they they know totally what he's speaking about but can't actually put it into words regarding the light language which is a very different <coughs> language altogether I mean this with the greatest of respect when I say this. When I hear people do it or speak it, I've gone, what? <laughs> Are you sure? Because it is so fast, so quick, that it sounds like you've speeded an old tape machine up, you know, those are the days, you know, and I think, what? It sounds ridiculous to me. I've got to be honest. It's like, it sounds ridiculous. And then I've had the times when it's come out of my mouth. 
And as it's coming out of my mouth so quickly, I understand that there is no way on earth, really, anybody could make that up. Because it is so quick that your brain can't go that quickly to think, oh, what shall I do with my mouth or this, that and the other. It's, um, and when they've come through me, there seems to be they have a, a thing where they go, I can't do it now unless they're there. But it's like a, a sort of perhaps a coding, I don't know, where they go like that. And then they do all this. I have no idea at all what they're talking about. And when it's over, I go, oh, because I feel like, oh, what is that all about? It is, it is, it sounds ridiculous to me, and yet I've had it come through my mouth. And as I say, I mean that with the greatest of respect to all that do. I've had people come up to me and say, could I have a word, Blossom? And they've taken me aside and held my hands and literally gone, oh, 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 and done all this thing. And I'm going, oh, mm, oh, okay, yeah, fine. And off they go, and I go, well, there we go. <laughs> what was that all about? But, but I, I think they knew they were passing on a message to me. I don't know what that message was in my conscious level, but on, on, on my another level, clearly I could pick, I knew exactly what they were talking about. But I, sometimes I'm like, if, if anybody saw what was just going on now, they'd be thinking, what the, you know, and yet I know it to be truth. And I think, therefore, to, to the answer the other part of your question is that in the future, uh, you know, whether people can understand it or not, it is the vibration of that which they bring through mm. that will be beneficial to those. Maybe there'll be people that can return the favor and they can have a whole conversation. I've never known anybody do that. Um, but, you know, I, of, of course, it, it, when, when it's coming from truth, and as I say, I don't think you can fake that kind of, maybe you can, I don't know, but it's so quick when it comes out, you can't, you can't move your mouth, your tongue. It's just incredible how quickly it, it, it's, it, how quick it is. You know, you don't have time. It's quite amazing, yeah. So I, I admire people that can, that can do it, and and there's people that can do it that totally understand what they've just said, and then they'll just interpret it. You, you know, we all have our our gifts. <laughs> Mary Rodwell has done a lot of work with children. She's uh, not that far away, I think. You mm -hmm. know, maybe four or five hours up up from me. Yeah, sorry, and, Joe. And there have been children who've spoken about light language and have seen art, for example, from someone who created a piece of work from halfway around the world, and the child happened to see it and understood it and wanted to speak to the adult who created the art okay, piece yeah, yeah. so that they could have a conversation about it. To your point, absolutely. And that's just one example. She's got many. Yeah. I, I think as well, sorry, Joe, that, that mm -hmm. you know, the more because of this instrument, this computer, this thing where we are in touch with so many, you know, with everybody, really, mm -hmm. I, I find it wonderful that more and more people because of YouTube and Zoom and things like that can show their gifts. And, you know, there are so many people who are so advanced in that their beings and and they're here to you know to assist us through this time and i just think it's lovely that through this medium we are able to experience that and enjoy you know enjoy the pleasure of of that and you know i'm very grateful to to this computer mm -hmm. and to those souls that can now present themselves to us and don't feel afraid to do so or, or, or speak their truth, you know, without getting, you know, burnt at the stake or dunked in a local duck pond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Blossom, I have another question for you. Okay. Uh, Stephanie would like to know, what can we do for the children, all ch children, when it comes time for the announcement? How do we help them through this time of saving the children? Can that, she clarify exactly what she's talking about? Okay. I'm going to clarify on her behalf. This is how I understand it. Stephanie, if I get it wrong, we're going to have this conversation for now. So we have uh, adults with children, perhaps young children, for example. If the announcement is something that also includes all the activity that 
many of us are aware of that has been taking place around the world pertaining to children who have been trafficked, etc., who have had horrific things occur to them. How would we best mm, share the news with our children? Stephanie, I had the same kind of thought. What do we do with the kids? How, do they, how are they going to process this? How are we going to filter this from them so that they're not affected terribly by the things that White Cloud and the Federation have told us are going to shake us up? If I may, I would like to pop in here, which Blossom is relieved about. The children that are yours and safe and you love beyond meaning they are so much more aware than we give them credit for in their innocence yet they are here the same re for the same reason as those of us those of you that are awake they are here to see your planet through into a lighter world. You, when things become more widely uh, revealed, each parent will find their way through love to explain to their child or their children what has been taking place. They do not, of course, have to go into great graphic detail. But if you look also at children's storybooks, sad to say, within many of them, there is intertwined much darkness. Look at your nursery rhymes. So much that is already being fed to the children has darkness subtly engraved within it. And yet I come then to the end of the story and it says, and they all lived happily ever after. There will be a way for you to say to the children that there have been some people upon the planet that did not want everybody to have a lovely time. And they did some bad things, but they are gone now. That is over. And for to concentrate to the children now that they are gone, what a lovely world we can now skip and dance and play within because they cannot hurt anybody anymore. It is a simple answer, and yet I feel it will assist because children are very resilient. They, they can, they can he hear something and then say, oh, okay, and they will go off and play with what they were doing, and they will just let that go into their system and that will be that as opposed to many adults that might say oh okay I better go and have a gin and tonic uh, to, to deal with that in what I have just been heard it is children just are, are, are especially the children that are here now they are very 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 enlightened beings ready to grow up to lead many, many in the new times. They will be fine. They shall be fine. Many thanks. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for bringing White Cloud in. Yep. Beautiful response. Stephanie, I hope that addresses your question. I interpreted it in a way that I felt was applicable. So thank you for asking. Blossom, I have another question here. Our last question for the evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is from T Tracy. Tracy asks, 
Many of us are remaining as neutral as possible, as observers. But at some point, each of us has to make various choices, such as with upcoming elections here in the U.S. Since we're grappling with a slippery slope of truth in these current times, how do we go about choosing in a way that's most beneficial? You might have to clarify for me, Joe, again, choosing what? That's choosing. A great question. Tracy, yeah. this time I'm not going to interpret because it could be choosing candidates, choosing yeah. a course of action, either to vote or not vote, for example. Uh, and your comment is... Choosing candidates, choosing candidates to vote or not to vote. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tracy. You're, ask, <laughs> you're asking the wrong person here, uh, <laughs> Tracy, truly. I, I feel the only thing I can, I can answer to that is you have to follow your heart. I, I, I couldn't, White Cloud couldn't, the Federation couldn't give you advice on that because each person on this journey is individual. And I have, I have people who follow the Federation's work <clears throat> who are totally against the president and I have people who follow the Federation's work who are totally for the president. And <laughs> therefore I would say, keep following the Federation's work, <laughs> no matter where you feel your truth lies. You can only do that. And I feel that come what may, keeping in mind once again that this is a divine plan, then what is played out will be for the highest divinest good of all. And so do what feels right for you. And should it be that what you thought was the way it was going to be isn't, then still your being will come around to the fact, well, then this is must be for the greatest higher good of all. I really can't advise you on that because I am not a political person. It's like, <laughs> it's like numbers. And astrology for me, I, it's, I'm not disagreeing with it. It's literally, I was not designed. As I say, I must have been off having a sh one too many sherries with the vicar when all those, all those sort of things were put in one's brain type of thing because I just, I, I don't understand them. I can't have, people have said I've, to me before in the past, I've, they felt I've been very rude because I wasn't joining in the conversation. And I said, you don't understand. I can't join in the conversation because I, I know nothing about it. I, I, as much as this may shock people, I, and I'm just gonna be honest about this because people will be shocked. I don't really know what a Democrat is, what a Republican is, what a fascist is, what a capitalist is. I don't really know what they all stand for. Because, and if I sat down for five hours and thought, right, learn what that one is, speak to me at the end of the evening and I wouldn't be able to tell you because mm -hmm. I can't, it doesn't go in my being. Am I interested? Well, I should be, as many people say, but I, I literally, I don't understand it. I don't understand any of it and so that's a very interesting question that i have been given and truly what i have said i hope it helps in some way but i can't give you any more than that for what it's worth in in what you did speak uh, ultimately the bottom line for me was that i heard that you essentially are suggesting that she follow her heart yeah. Follow her best what else knowing. can you do you mm -hmm. know what else can you do if you shut your mind off and just feel and that isn't always easy to do you know you go well i'm trying to do that but i don't know what i feel mm -hmm. then don't do anything at all if you don't know what to do <laughs> you know just sit with it and then the the answer will come at some point it's like it's that thing of there is no wrong or right decision there's just a decision. And once you've made that decision, if it flows well for you, 
then great. You think, oh, good, I made the right decision. And then if it's not going so well and things aren't flowing so well, think, oh, well, I think I'll make another decision that may feel better. But there is no wrong or right decision. You're just experiencing things along your journey. You know, people, people say, should I do this? Shouldn't I do that? And I think, well, give it a go. If it doesn't work out, so what? You've tried it and go, okay, well, no, that didn't work. Now I'm going to try something else. Far better that than just sit there watching your TV doing nothing. You know, mm-hmm. live your life. I always say, or used to say, we didn't come down here to watch Coronation Street or The Bold and the Beautiful all day long or, or you know, with greatest respect, The Bachelor or whatever it may be. We didn't come down here to become and sucked into these things on the screen. We didn't come here to do that. We came here to live life in the most exciting way we can. So let's do it because we might not have another opportunity. Who knows? We might, but it might be your last time upon the planet. Might not. But let's try to just give everything a go. Give everything a go. If you feel like doing something, then I've, I've veered off now from the politics, but if you feel like doing something that you don't have the confidence to do it, so what? Do it anyway and see how it, see how it goes. And if it doesn't work out, so what? Go and find something else. Life's too short. <laughs> Beautiful Blossom. I was going to ask you for some closing comments, but I would love to finish on that note. Fine by me. Fine by me. I would like to just finish by saying thank you to you for all that you do, Joe, for for being the voice for the Federation of Light. I'm so glad that people are recognizing that and giving you gratitude so much now for doing that because I don't think there's anybody else on the planet, quite honestly, that could do it as beautifully and as sincerely as you do. And I divinely chosen. So thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for inviting me here to just chat and say my bit. And thank you so much to every single person that has given up your time uh, to, to sit in with us and just be part of the the fun and to you know i just send my love to everybody and just say we've got this we have got this we have got this we have got this and it's all going to be absolutely fine i'm absolutely convinced of that now i truly know in my heart that we're we're on our way we truly are on our way so thank you to everybody thank you so much Thank you, 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 you, Thank 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 you,